Hey everyone, seems like it's been a while since I've done a video, and it has been, you know, for a while I was doing like two and three a week. Uh, what happens is you kind of run out of stuff to do, so I try to do one every two weeks or so. Um, and a lot of people really like what I do, and if you like it uh, a lot, go to www.edini.com. For all your hypnosis needs, I have MP3s and so on. Um, what I'd like you to do is make sure all noise items are shut off. I have my ringer on because I'm expecting a call, but I'm just blocking that out. I can do this uh, again, too. That's it. Just breathe in and breathe out. Just allowing your body to relax. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Now, I'm going to have you concentrate on your breathing for a few moments. But I wonder if you can imagine a very strange idea. A very strange idea indeed. I wonder if you can imagine that you can actually breathe through your fingertips. Just imagine that rather strange idea that you could actually breathe in through your fingertips. Imagine that you could feel the air moving into your hands slowly at first, just with a faint tingling sensation, which you might feel on the back of your hands, or perhaps your palms, and then just imagine the feeling moving slowly, ever so slowly, along your arms, through your elbows, just eliminate, just imagine that comforting flow of air moving through the elbows into your upper arms and then into your shoulders, both arms, both shoulders, maybe finding again that faint, ever so faint, tingling sensation, perhaps in your elbow or in the forearms this time, then moving down through your body into your legs, through the thighs, through the knees, into your shins and calves. And again, you might feel that faint tingling sensation just there, below your knees, then down through your ankles and into your feet, that's right. And you can find a great deal of calmness and easiness in this rather strange idea that you can breathe in through your fingers, that you can actually feel the air moving through your whole body in one single warming, comforting, undirectional flow. And because it is in directional flow of air moving through your whole body, you can feel the calmness and relaxation as you breathe in. Simply doesn't get involved with the tensions and stresses that breathe away from yourself. The calmness and relaxation that you breathe in simply doesn't get involved with the tensions and anxieties that you breathe away from yourself so that with each breath you take, each word I speak, you find yourself becoming more steadily and steadily relaxed, going deep in hypnosis, relaxed with each breath with each word I speak. That's it. Now, 
Perhaps you notice the weight of your head against the back of the chair, or maybe your chin resting on your chest, wondering if that weight might seem too gently increase as you relax even more the weight of your feet on the footrest or the ground, wondering if that weight too might seem to gently increase even as you think about it. Some people can find that sensation of total relaxation, feel as if they are actually beginning to sink, to sink through the chair, beginning to sink gently through the chair so that it seems almost as if the chair is beginning to envelope you. That's right, envelop you. You are so relaxed, a good feeling, a feeling of great calmness, safety, great calmness and safety. That increases with each breath you take, with each word I speak. As you continue to breathe in and out through your fingertips, that's it, going deeper and deeper, relaxed, feeling so good. And this is something you can do for yourself whenever you want to. Simply settle yourself into a comfortable position with your eyes closed and simply imagine breathing in through your fingers. Imagine that flowing of air comforting and relaxing every part of your body, then breathing out through your feet. And every time you breathe, you say, relax now, relax now, relax now. Excellent. There is a topic I am going to uh, hit right now as this topic really affects everyone's lives. And this is nightmares or bad dreams, night terrors. What I want you to do is if you're having a bad spell of bad dreams, I want you to say, I will not dream of beautiful puppies. I will not dream of those precious, beautiful puppies. And keep saying that and believe that you will not dream of beautiful puppies. Also, if there's anything in your life that may be causing those bad dreams, address it. That's right. And just imagine yourself in good energy when you sleep. Not just imagine it, but you will be in good energy. Whenever you see the color pink, it will remind you that you dream only good dreams. I thank you so much. And as always, one, two, three, four, five. Thank you so much. And go to www.edini.com. Thank you.